Oh, Lieutenant, when we searched the prisoner, we found a few items. Merely a few pieces of contraband and some personal papers which were stitched to his trousers. What sort of papers? Just some drawings of, I think, a space rocket. Perhaps our American captain dreams of becoming a spaceman. Should we sign the items over to Colditz? Burn them. We will spare ourselves the paperwork. Thanks, boys. You'll understand if I don't give you a tip. Anybody home? Welcome. The Colditz cards have no manners, so you must forgive me introducing myself. Group Captain Henri Dubois, the barrack officer at Colditz. Enchanté, I'm sure. My name's Stone. And I'm Major William Kingsley, escape officer. Although that's very much an honorary title here in the castle. It's a pretty tight ship. Tricky place to slip out of. That's what they said about Stalag Luft. Ah, you have already been involved in an escape. Then you are lucky you have not found yourself among the unluckier inmates of Colditz. Some of the chaps here are confined to a separate set of barracks known as Prisoner Barracks B. Only time we ever see them is during meal times, roll call, and exercise. I don't suppose one of them is a stiff name, Harding. Colonel Harding's a friend of yours. I wouldn't say that exactly, but I need to talk to him. It's kind of urgent. Mm, won't be easy. Jerry's taken a particular dislike to Harding for some reason, and put him under 24-hour watch. The poor chap's followed around everywhere by his own personal guard. We haven't been able to get near him. Major, given that the escape committee has at the moment rather a lot of spare time, perhaps we could offer our help to Captain Stone. Don't see why not. Feel free to look us up if you need a hand, Captain. And meanwhile, the best of luck to you. I am warning you, Schliemann. If prisoner Harding causes any more trouble on your watch, I will hold you personally responsible. I am sure you are aware just how cold it is on the Russian front at this time of year. I will not let him out of my sight, Herr Commandant. Excellent! I see I have trained the guards well. Watch your step, Stone. The Commandant's nervous about something. And when the Commandant gets nervous, the guards get twitchy. Let us know if there's anything we can do to lend a hand. Uh, I'm a little stuck, Major. Any advice? I see. Well, I'll gladly get one of the boys to see what he can find out. But he won't do it for nothing. I'll need 25 currency to give him. If that's what it costs, here's the currency. Right. I'll see what I can do and brief you on our findings later. Right, Stone. We've had a fellow sniff around Barrack B. 
He's established that Colonel Harding is being held in a room at the end of the corridor, past the end of the barracks. Security's tight, and there's a guard posted in a second room in between Harding's and the corridor. Harding is confined to his room at all times, except during meals and roll calls. Now, and you will not be harmed. Ah, I give up. You need to watch your step. Could you give me a little more help, Major? I'm as stumped as you are, Captain. Best thing might be if I get someone to take a look around. But I'll have to pay him. Fifty currency ought to cover it. If that's what it costs, here's the currency. Right. I'll see what I can do and brief you on our findings later. We've had a little chat with some of the other prisoners, Stone and we've discovered a potential route to Barrack B via the library. That's kept locked, of course, so you'll need to pick the lock. Once you're in, you'll be able to get out on the rooftops through the window, watching out for guards, of course. Once you've made your way across the rooftops, you'll need to go down a corridor and into the theatre. Here, you'll need to be especially wary of guards as Jerry's currently doing a sweep for escape routes. But with a bit of luck, they won't have spotted the hatch in the stage that'll let you drop down into Barrack B.
Hey, Cap. I'm Kapowski. They've always kept this place locked down pretty tight, but, well, things have gotten tighter recently. I'll give them the slip eventually, though. Ever got across to prisoner barrack B, Kapowski? Well, I did try sneaking across the courtyard once. But would you believe it? They spotted my footprints in the snow. Stick to the well-trodden paths, Cap. Or try an alternative route, such as the library. You made it into the library? Sure I have. Well, nearly. I almost picked the lock the other day, but I got spotted by the guard in the hallway. He confiscated my lockpick and threw me in the cooler. The doc tells me he keeps it on his desk to taunt the other prisoners. You had a lockpick, huh? Yeah. Made it myself and it worked a treat. If you ever manage to get hold of the thing, make sure you've got plenty of time to use it before any guards show up. Lockpicking doors takes a while. So what tricks have you got? I've got to admit, with this big shot general they say is on his way, the crowds have closed down most of my routes. You might want to talk to Worthington. Says he knows some kind of secret passage or something in the theater. I'll speak... Hello, Captain. I heard all about your flight from Starlog Luft, and that look in your eyes suggests you don't intend cold it's to hold you for long. I'm Winters, but the other guys call me Doc. They reckon I've become something of a specialist on cold it's. I need to talk to Harding, Doc. Any ideas? That won't be easy, considering the Colonel's new best friend. Your best bet would be to try to get into the Colonel's barracks while he's absent and lie in wait. You may be able to find a route up through the library to prisoner Barrack B, where you'll find his room. Prisoner Barrack B? Where's that? It's where the Colonel is being held. It's across the courtyard from our own barracks. Where's the library? A couple of doors down from your barracks, my friend. But since our host discovered the prisoners were using it to reach other parts of the castle, they've kept it locked. Locked? So how do I get in? <laughs> now that, I don't know. But Private Kapowski is undertaking an extensive study of the castle's security. You could ask him. How come the Krauts have everyone split into two barracks? The Commandant believes that by separating supposed troublemakers from the rest of the prisoners, he'll reduce the chances of escape attempts. Be warned, the guards know exactly who should be in Barracks B and who should not. Trespassers are not smiled upon. So how come Harding's in there? Perhaps you can tell me the answer to that, my friend. The Commandant threw him straight in there as soon as he arrived, so I assume he must have annoyed someone pretty high up in the German command. Any reason they split up the courtyard? Merely to annoy us, I suspect. They only let us into the west side of the courtyard during the exercise periods. The rest of the time, we have to stay in the east side. Otherwise... <laughs> Cooler beckons. I'll speak to you later. I'm Johnson, Captain. I'm guessing that when they brought you in here, the crowds didn't leave you with much more than your jacket and your smile. So if there's anything in particular you need, you come and try me. Sometimes I amaze myself with what I can get my hands on. I'll leave it for now, thanks. Fair enough, Cap. I'm so terribly glad to meet you, sir. My name's Worthington. If you'll forgive me, I really must congratulate you on your escape from Starleg Luft. Awfully daring, if I'm to believe the rumors I picked up from the other chaps. Pity it all had to end like this, really. Any idea where Harding's barracks are, Worthington? The Colonel, sir. He's being detained in a room next to prisoner barrack B. But I doubt he'll be able to talk to him, sir. Jerry's not taking his eyes off Harding, and you'll be in all manner of trouble if you're spotted trying to get in there. Why are they keeping such close tabs on him? I've been trying to find out, sir, but without much luck so far. I'd hazard he's rubbed some top brass up the wrong way somewhere along the line. 
Say I wanted to get into Barrack B. What would you suggest? Hmm. Well, I did overhear one of the chaps describing a trapdoor about Barrack B, sir. There's no way to get up to it, apparently. But I assume if you could find where it leads from, that might be your way in. I'll speak to you later. Captain Stone. I'll speak to you later. You'll need to watch your... I hate to admit it, but I'm still struggling. Any ideas? Finding out much more than we've given you already is going to be risky. I could have a man do it, but I wouldn't be happy paying him less than 75 currency. If that's what it costs, here's the currency. Right. I'll see what I can do and brief you on our findings later. I have to say you're stretching our resources rather, Stone. But we've located a chap who's found a rather quicker route to Barrack B. Bit reluctant to reveal the secret, but your currency soon persuaded him. The route involved going through the theatre as before, but you can cut out all that malarkey in the library by using a door that leads directly off Prisoner Courtyard West. You'll need to pick the lock, so you might be better off waiting till free time and getting someone like Williams, Logan or Berati to occupy the guard's attention. Then you should be able to proceed up the stairs and into the theatre, where you'll be able to reach that hatch. Now, you'd be strongly advised to leave the actual infiltration of the barracks till a meal time. That way you'll be able to slip into Harding's room while he and his guard are away, and you'll be waiting for him when he gets back. I am not interested. Go away! Excellent! The door is locked. What was that noise? Prisoner, schnell!
door is locked. Not now. They're all over me. I'm Williams. You broke out a Stalag Luft, right? Thought so. But Stalag Luft's a paper bag compared to Colditz. Any chance of some help? Look, Captain. Maybe we should work together here. I could use some currency, and I'm guessing you could use some muscle. So pay me 25, I'll talk to Logan and Baratti, and see if we can all help you out. Okay, Williams, here's the dough. Okay. Let me talk to Logan and Baratti. You need us, just shout. Follow me. Gonna have to do this in the... Hi, Logan's the name. You're Stone, right? If they put you in coldness, I guess it's because you bust out of someplace else. Well, you might have trouble pulling the same stunt here. Follow me. Right on your tail. How you doing, sir? I'm Baratti. Have you seen the nurse in this place? She's one tasty lady. Follow me. Right behind you, sir. Just say the word, Cap. Distract the guards. Leave. What is going on? You need to walk. I'll speak to you. What is going on? Good to see you. Distract the guards. I'm up. Hi, Cat. Distract the guards. I'd love...
I will fire. Halt! Where did he go? Patrols are to be doubled. The entire castle will be searched twice daily. All leave is cancelled. But Herr Commandant, with no exceptions, we cannot afford any further lapses of security. If there is the merest hint of an escape attempt during General Stahl's visit to Kolditz, we will all become fodder for the Bolshevik tanks, myself included. Yes, Herr Commandant. I find this as painful as you, Lieutenant. Another week passes and still I do not gaze into the sweet brown eyes of my little Dachshund Otto. You heard the Commandant. Search the castle. Im Laufschritt!
sign of Harding. I'll hold on here and give him a nice surprise. What the devil? Brought you some fresh towels, sir. Would you like your bed turned down? Hmm. You look familiar. Sloan, wasn't it? Stone. Shouldn't you be in London with those blueprints by now? Change of plan. Decided I'm kind of partial to life behind bars. Good God! You've turned this whole operation into a farce! Hey, pal. If it wasn't for me, those plans would still be on General Stahl's desk. And where are they now? Uh, probably on General Stahl's desk. I got patted down on the way in. Unbelievable. Well, even if we still had the plans, there's no way they'd reach Whitehall in time. Damn. There's nothing else for it. I'm going to have to get back to Stalagluft and decommission that rocket myself. Break into a prison camp? <laughs> I like that. Now, out of my way. I've got to get cracking. What, with your new pal out there watching your every move? Blast. You're right. Right, Sloan. I'm going to let you help me. My lucky day. You'll have to find me a German uniform. You may need a key, so I'll get a chap to place one in your hiding place. Now go. You've already jeopardized this mission enough. What? What? You! How did you get in here? My God, is the Commandant here of this? Get out of here! Move! Schnell! And do not tell anybody you are here! Go! That is the last time you make a fool of me, Colonel. You are now confined to your quarters 24 hours a day. You will cause me no further headaches, I assure you. <laughs>